Uh, Roland, uh, I make the mention about uh, the bigger asset base, but behind it all, we actually have got earnings flat. Perhaps let's begin there. What's, where is the struggle there? Because business banking is doing extremely well, up 13% on, on, on any earnings basis. Yes, there were two divisions that underperformed. One was SAS Fund Capital and the other was Treasury. Um, SAS Fund Capital includes our private equity and property equity uh, investments. And unfortunately, we've had, to, um, under we've had to reduce certain values there. Sure. And that's uh, impacted on that, uh, on that figure. Uh, you will have noticed in our, in our previous six months, in other words, the second half of last year, we also dropped in, in that area. Yeah. So Sassman Capital has been underperforming now for, well, for, for two half-year periods. Right. What was the problem there? The, well, the problem there is that we, that I think al along with many others uh, in private equity, uh, nationally and internationally, um, we've had to reduce certain values because certain of the companies were not performing sure. as expected. So we've taken, uh, we, we've really rejigged our whole uh, private equity division. Um, we've reduced, we've downscaled the business. We've got a far smaller staff, and um, we've uh, we've decided to uh, exit certain of the investments. Yes, and uh, we are doing more what we call club deals, where we share investments with other investors right so we we don't want to have such um we want more granularity in that division instead of having such concentration risk so we we're moving towards granularity and we're also moving towards managed assets as opposed to proprietary invested assets yeah so we've got an, an interest in a company called trinitas which is a managed fund and we've recently announced that we will have an, a 25 percent interest in a property management company um, uh, called Annuity. Right. And uh, that we, we see more business done on a managed basis rather than on a proprietary basis. So what does that strategy then say about uh, your future play in that business? Are we looking here at pe perhaps you eventually quitting that business or are you positioning yourself for perhaps greater growth come uh, going into the future? Yes, now we're certainly not going to exit the business, okay. although we'll probably exit the property side of the business. Right. Um, and private we'll, equity remains. Uh, yeah, but private equity b will remain, but in a different form. Right. Wealth management, that division's earnings up 26%. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how big is that division, and where is the target in terms of growing the asset base that you have there? All right, so that division is, is predominantly a stockbroking business, which right. is the old Frankel Pollock yep. stockbroking business. And we've, we're moving more and more towards asset management. Right. And um, it's pleasing to see that for the first time, uh, the Sassfin Asset Managers part of that wealth division is starting to make a profit, uh, as is the financial planning side. And we see the asset management part of the business growing very substantially. And so how is that? Where is that money coming from? Because we know everybody is under pressure. Where is that money coming from? Well, we, we perhaps new players. Sure. Um, we've got a good base in our stockbroking business, so we can migrate a certain amount of that business towards asset management. Right. Um, but we've, we, we believe we've got a very good uh, value proposition for new clients. We've got quite a strong asset consulting business which and uh, we, where we consult to pension funds, and a lot of those pension funds are now asking us to manage their assets. Sure. Um, we're also building our brand. I mean, you will have noticed we advertise quite a bit on TV, soccer, cricket, and things like that. So more and more people are starting to recognize the brand, and we're tr attracting more business. That so market. what's the target for that business? Where do you want to take it to? And uh, we, what sort we of time frame are we talking about? We think within the next few years, that'll become a very substantial business. Uh, we believe that... Um, that business could be almost as big as our business banking business yeah. um, I over the next few years. Right. He's not going to give me a figure. I was hoping that yeah. the second time around I'd get like, let's talk about uh, that access cash sitting on your balance sheet, 1.3 billion rand. Yeah. Uh, you had a loss on it uh, the last time round. What's the strategy going forward for it? Well, the strategy there is to comply with uh, Basel III. Sure. Um, and I think a lot of the banks are struggling with to the comply same with the liquidity and uh, the stable funding requirements sure. of banks in terms of Basel III. And we took a bold decision, uh, and we've borrowed a lot of long-term money, which you'll see in our, a big increase in long-term yes. borrowings. And a lot of that money is now sitting in the bank, uh, unused. 
but at least we have the we can sleep at night. We but there was to see you there. And and of course there's potential to grow our business. So so we've taken a conservative approach, um, and we we very you know we got a very safe balance sheet. Do you still need to raise money to 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 be adequately positioned for Basel three? No, we believe that we're we now adequately positioned for Basel three. But we will continue to take deposits because obviously that's the bread and butter of banking. For sure. So we'll keep growing our deposit book and we have done, been quite successful in that as well. That, I was actually going to say that because I wanted us to talk about your loan book because you did grow it quite successfully. I just want to get a sense from you and earnings were up as well. Mm -hmm. Just in terms of uh, uh, the health of uh, your customers there, how healthy are they? Well, as you can see, our, our, um, loss, uh, our loss ratio has dropped quite yeah. a bit. It's dropped from 1.6% percent to 1.2 percent yeah which I think is quite good and uh, if we look at the business banking part of the of that the lo the loss is a lot lower than that so most of our losses in fact were in the private equity side so so if we take that out because that's we believe is non-recurring right. uh, then our, our loss ratio is very good and it should get lower than this absolutely uh, so going into the future where to now for Sasfen? very strong here in South Africa and you know you're growing on the other side on, on wealth management yeah. uh, well what we about, want to what about the continent oh the continent <laughs> <laughs> the continent is difficult for a small player like ourselves sure. um, we but have done business in the continent and we yeah. do a little bit but um, we we think that that is not a top priority for us we've got other priorities in in South Africa before we really have a go at the, at the rest of the continent. Roland Sassoon and his team are looking firmly at South Africa.